guys did really well. The Yin Yoga we practice is designed for recovery so that they can release their muscles and their connective tissue, their fascia in particular, um, especially after hard training. It's not all about focusing on push, 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 but in our Yin practice it's really about letting go um, and enabling the guys to relax and soften, which is obviously something that they're not used to doing um, in all their training throughout the week. I believe it's extremely important and I mean there's a lot of research and studies out there saying that mindfulness is equally as important as their physical training um, because at the end of the day when you look at these guys you know they're expected to perform at an extremely high level and the the expectations they have on themselves can create um, a lot of anxiety and they can have a stress in their body so being able to control those those thoughts and being aware of those thoughts are fundamental in their performance and their growth as a player. So, Rowie, how was the session today? Was it challenging? Uh, yeah, always is yoga for the, for the boys after a big week on the track. Um, but obviously it's very important to keep our bodies in good shape and um, yeah, it's also good for the, for the brain. We sit and focus on our breathing and um, yeah, we find it really important, really beneficial, especially leading to match simulation now. Obviously mental well-being is an important part of being a footy player these days. You know, how important do you think it is to, to practice mindfulness you know, regularly? Yeah, obviously we um, put a massive emphasis on it and um, we find it's really useful to be able to switch off and not just constantly think about football the whole time. Um, coming down here to Bronte together and being able to do something like this is really good for us.